Hello and welcome to a somewhat unusual episode of The Back Office because today I want to have a look at a game and this is currently on the Epic Store for free and it's called Wild True Learn and a bit like other programming games it sort of does pique my interest a little bit because of course I am a professional software engineer and have been for many many years so let's load up the epic games launcher in fact I have to install it because I haven't installed it for a long time and so the installer is loaded oh, I guess I have to install the game now let's do this very excited to see what this is about well I have to say it does look very pretty New game. Tutorial. Okay. While true, learn. To become a programmer, you must master the art of turning the computer on. Press and hold the flashing triangle and drag to connect the power outlet with your PC screen. And when it's done, press the power button. Uh, I don't think I need to read that, do I? Oh, I have to actually just do it while the message is on the screen. Do that. Okay, so we're just hooking up the components. Power. Yeah, I'm not sure this is the traditional way of programming. <laughs> it's probably, again, like I said, a bit like I've seen the kids do with Scratch, but that's okay. So this guy's looking at his computer, and it says error shows a bug. And he's drinking his hot cup of coffee that he's put down in shock. Oh, no. The cat's going, mm. I'm going to go get more coffee. So the cat's curious. Oh, I can sort this for you. No! Build successful. So the cat knows what he's up to. So the program's like, what? How did you do this? Holy zeros. If only I could understand what this cat has to say. Meow. I guess we'll have to find out a way to recognize your speech. Meow. Goal. Cat speech recognition to-do list. Google it on cat overflow. <laughs> Hilarious. Right, so enter your nickname. Hmm. Dr. A. Oh, I can, put, I can actually do it in lowercase. Oh, there you go. Dr. A. Sophisticated. How to recognize animal speech. So this is kind of cool. It kind of does emulate that I don't know the answer. I'm just going to straight to stack overflow. Hey everybody, can you believe my cat? That little devil has debugged my code. Again, he definitely has something to say, so I decided to make some sort of a mm, system algorithm which would help me understand him. Give me advice. Wish me luck, maybe. P.S. I'm not insane. My mum had me tested. Don't rush ahead of yourself. Making a device that would be able to detect the cat would be a nice start. You can work with video, sounds, etc. when the time is right. Hey, a couple of days ago, I've been reading about how expert system can be applied for detecting animals and writing chatbots. The newspaper was called Deep News. I'll be sending you my copies once I'm done with them. Sending copies. Who literally reads paper news? Right, so you've got these building blocks on the right. Again, very familiar to your scratchy stuff. And then I guess we're just hooking it up with that. Good. And photos with cat. Photos? No cat. I have to admit now, I'm already a little bit confused. <laughs> Hooking stuff up was okay, but how does it process through this? Okay, so the red chunks, red inputs are going to the top, and the blue ones are going to the bottom, but honestly, what the heck is happening? Oh, I see. Let's go. Let's just have a quick look. So the f the left block was actually the inputs of the camera. So it's taking. Okay, just in a yeah, yeah, yeah. Squares are floating. What's the fuss about machine learning? Are you guys actually working here? Okay, so he's uh, visual programming. Hmm. Actually skipping the uh, the whole thing, which is pretty bad. Behold the task tree. This is a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to ignore it. If we don't read instructions applicants good day summer exams here could you process them and predict which of the students will be able to enter the M the MIT okay 
You see these colourful geometric shapes, they represent various kinds of data, numbers, letters, elements of images. In the modern world, everything can be turned into data and machine learning is all about sorting and interpreting data. Long story short, your goal in the game is to transfer data from the left part of the screen to the right. These bars show the minimum amount of data that needs to be processed to complete the task. Okay, so these are the exam results. I'm guessing it's 10 good and 10 bad. And then you have this generic expert system block, which is, we'll leave it set at red. And then you've got your two outputs, the pile of good exam results and the pile of bad exam results. Oh, I see. That won't work in this task. Try changing the color value in the upper part of the exp Okay, so I think we're going to look for greens. So it will sort the greens from the rest, as far as I can tell. That's pretty much what it's doing. And let's run it. So greens will go there, and everything else will go here. Oh, it won't, because I forgot to bloody put the put the line here okay <laughs> there we go is there a speed up oh there is a speed up yeah so far so good so i'm imagining now if you for example had three outputs do i just click the next one we have some errors in our questionnaires data we solved by ourselves could you please fix it your efficiency is measured not just by money, but with medals too. Medals influence your story progression while boosting your self-esteem at the same time. To get a medal, your scheme has to meet the respective time and nodes limits. Okay. Trash can destroys all elements. In the real world. Okay, well, I guess if you want to learn about something. So, expert system output stream here. We're going to whack that onto there. We're going to whack that onto there. We're going to say filter for blue. We're going to say put the trash can in there. Booyah. Let's go. Hurrah. And I, oh, it's already at speed three. I was trying to hit speed it up. Again, come on. You're too slow for me. Okay, so I guess you just keep going down this tree. Uh, I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to ignore that. Okay. Drag the custom node sorting the color red to the workspace. If you want to modify the scheme inside the custom node, double click. Okay, so it's like a, a sub component that has something internal to it that can be customized. So these are regular and these are custom. And if you didn't read the what you're supposed to do, is there a thing that tells you that? Because that could be useful. Uh, okay. We found some errors made by. Please update your program. It would be easier if you here we do, use the previous version of your code. And then you've got an AI. So what? Okay, so clearly I didn't read the instructions, but I'm, I'm kind of curious. So if that goes there, we can say here, can we set the color? I do believe we want... Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, I don't know what I quite did there. Um, I think I went to the previous version of the code, but I think we'll just run it as is and see what happens. So this is acting as a filter. The weird thing is, oh, I'm going to release it, but you saw there, there was a, it had that green color inside, but I would have thought that that um, somehow would have been a bit wrong. Hey, is there any way to detect the cat without using expert systems? It works for texts, but with pictures, not so much. Furthermore, the cat just won't sit still. That it does not. Try decision trees. Those are a little bit like expert systems, but on steroids. Once you feel comfortable around them, try sift. This little devil works way more effective with pictures. Yeah. And then you just, I'm just ignoring. Right. Different nodes have different processing rates. This primarily will influence the efficiency of your schemes. Hmm. Oh, I see. This is cool. So this is like, we should actually probably read all these things. So the decision tree, this node compares the output parameters 
the sockets with an element's color. If the element is color is equal to only one of the socket's colors, the element moves to that socket. If an element's color satisfied both conditions or none of them, it goes to a random socket. Yeah, this is crazy, right? I don't know why I'm so confused at the moment, but we'll figure it out. Right. So here you want to go, oh, that's interesting because there, you see red there and blue. I suppose that's okay because you can see on the outputs they're accepting of green. So they should be happy enough. Good, so that was okay. Oh, it's starting to get really complicated now. Illuminati Origins. Okay, so something. To decrease and increase speed, click a button on the screen, use A and D in space. Well, that's okay. We've been already using that, I think. This node compares shapes. If an element's shape matches the designated shape, said element goes to the top socket. There's a lot of things where they're filtering on one. It's not like a case statement, it's just a bit like an if statement. So I'm guessing we're going to have to use multiples of these at some point soon. And it wants the chop. In fact, look, it does say else. It is an else there. And we're going to bin all of the rest. And I think they're being very kind to us by restricting the modules that we can use in this right hand section so we can't make mistakes. Oh yeah, because of course it is still tutorial. <laughs> so we've done that one. We're honored to invite you to join our startup, our startup, world's first AI controlled pizza place. That's quite a title. It confused my brain with its grammar. But our fingers are always stained with flour. We can't really code because of that. Help us write and implement an algorithm that would be capable to separate orders for round pizzas from square shaped pizzas. Okay. A scheme created while working for a startup is not different from any other, but there is no solution to startups. The scheme just works better or worse. Oh, that's good. Yeah, because they just have nothing right now. So you don't care. And I think we can figure this one out without doing anything else. Frankly, it writes itself. Now, they do have a speed thing on here. Can we, how do we? No, that's just telling you it's time. That's fine. Pizza. Further testing won't affect your results in this startup. Oh, all right, so it just works fine. Right away, that's your, that's your whole testing. I quite like the idea of a robot uh, pizza joint. So if you're playing this, of course, you can uh, read all this. Oh, they don't like waiting. Oh, was that a, was that an actual mission um, information telling you to do something better? Uh, I think I don't think we can improve upon this. I think we can just say release. Can we? This action device. Launch it. Oh, I like this. Look, it's got a whole service console. <laughs> This is your AWS dashboards running. So I think they're happy enough. It worked. We got some money. Chicken Escape. I own a small technology farm. A technology farm. Our distributors demand supplies of eggs of different kinds. It takes a whole lot of time to sort them manually. This is why we've decided to automate the process. We have all the data about eggs parameters, but we need an algorithm which will work without human assistance and with high accuracy well okay we see now there's two lots i know i need to need to use two here i I'm, it's just normal logic here um, in fact that should just work let's go hurrah 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 all the hurrah I could work on a technology farm. Not bad. Before I do that, though, I just want to check something. Because is there a way you can make this better? Because you've got your little medals at the top. Uh, 
I don't think really looking at it. I think we're done. Do I just hit save? Oh, I have to test it. I think I have to test it again. I'm just wondering here if there's a production bottleneck potential, but with the input right here, it, it's fine. What was that error stack overflow thing popped up? Well, I think we can just ignore that. Was that? I'm kind of confused. This one's flashing now. Is that the one it wants us to do? Oh, okay. You've reached the end of the epoch. Click on the banners to pre feed some bronze, silver, or gold. Well, let's go for silver. Okay, so the Eliza first chatbot thing. Cat seeing a box. In the box is a camera and a some sort of monitor thing oh yeah I don't know it almost did so it's doing some AI to detect the cat right the Rosenblatt perceptron yes so it's about detecting the animals emotions right and now for something completely different perceptrons can actually learn and improve bad news they also make a ton of errors on the way use training mode so it's it's basically an AI um, maybe some sort of back propagation network. In training mode, Perceptron reduces the amount of errors while trying to predict the shape of elements. In test run, Bronio predicts shapes. Okay. So we're saying if it's a cycle, go a cycle. If it's a square, go a square. And then we're going to have to see how do we train this. I mean, it does have a training set here. You've got 300 of each. But how do you adjust it? So let's do training. And this actually happens in real life when you test these AIs. If it's a like a neural network, you have to train them. The nodes on the field have reached their minimum margin of error. There's nothing more you can teach now. So it's not very accurate, is it? I mean, what are we saying? Is it 20% accurate? Let's do a test run then. Or should we run more training? That's what I'm wondering. Okay. Time is passing and the market changes. When the hype icon is yellow, it means that your target audience is already aware of your startup. Don't expect many new users at this point. Users are starting to leave. Oh, this is... I don't need... I don't want some more stress all this, isn't it? Click that. You can see your income's going down. Well, can we work more on our perceptrons, please? Yes. Dairy products. Hello. My name is Sam. I own a dairy products factory. My dream is to make the very best goods on the market, and that's impossible without high accuracy in fermentation processes. All right, off with the fancy words. I want a program that would judge the quality of a product by its ingredients. We often make mistakes when doing it manually, and a lot of our products never leave the factory since we mark them as defective. We have the data, but we need the algorithm. Oh my word, it's not just the same again, is it? Oh, hang on. This can have any. Can we do an any to any to any to any? Yes, we can. Blah, 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 blah. Training. It seems a bit formulaic, but I imagine it might be quite, quite difficult when they... Um, if you've got multiples of these perceptron-type devices, because you're going to have to train them independently, aren't you? So we have our Medoel. It shows you the money spent and the time spent and the nose used. I think there is, let's just, I think there is other ways of doing it. Let's just see. Can you use more than one thing? Yeah. Let's see how you could. Um, can you, how do you remove a node? That's the first thing. <laughs> Delete. Oh, delete all nodes. Well, that'll do. Right. So if we take a, you could do a multi multipass, couldn't you? So you could go to here first. 
and you could connect all of those to those and then you could put the ones it think if you want to be really act more accurate how about if you do that let's see if that does anything were you paying attention to the scores because I wasn't it certainly will cost more to make Oh, look, you might run out of training data. Look, before you've you've actually taught the uh, algorithm. That would be interesting. Oh, no, it just restarts it for you. Conveniently, because it's going to take a long time. <laughs> Almost there. Remember, I think we're waiting waiting for it to get to 65, something like that. Let's go. This definitely doesn't feel more efficient than the first version because it's just grinding away, isn't it? Absolutely grinding away. And I'm really curious about this score, too. So close. There we go. Right, so let's do a test run of this one. That was painful. Success. Oh, is that higher? Now, this is a gold colour. The other one was bronze. I think this is, this is better somehow. Right, fine. Let's move on. Text recognition. Okay. We're aware that you're able to create a text recognition system based on the rose and black perceptron. We need a similar system, but would also that would also be able to distinguish vowels from consonants. There's some blub there. Okay, so fortunately it seems that it's not too fussy on some of these things. Right. Um, okay, so this would be a bit trickier because you've got that output and that output has to go there, and this output has to go there, and this output potentially goes there. Oh, you can only have one, right? Right, so I think we need a second stage, and we can put that. Oh, hang on a, hang on a minute. I think that will do it, will it? I don't think it will. <laughs> Ooh, hang on there. Let's let's clear this and let's have a proper little thinky think. Do we need to use a perceptron sorter? Can we use that? See, this is where I get a little bit confused because I'm not sure what's going on. So you see that scheme is saved as perceptron sorter and this one has three outputs we'll sort into each colour. Now, it did appear you might be able to use that on your solution, but how do you get to that previous problem? That's the text. Okay, so this is where we are. So that was our previous block where it's splitting them into three things, the um, circle, square, and triangle. Okay, I've put this together because it's the only thing I thought makes any kind of sense. I'm wondering if you can run them without training them. That's, that's my theory. Okay, so you can't teach them anymore. Um, I'm not particularly convinced by it, to be honest with you. Nearly done. You ran out of time. Didn't like it. 
I, I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of now getting to the point now where for me it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like um, real programming. We're just messing around at this point now. So <laughs> I'm going to see if there's like an acceptable margin of error. That's the problem. See, there's some sort of target rate. I mean, if you run it without being trained, it's going to just split it, send random things to each side, right? Could you succeed just doing that? Not quite, because it doesn't look like you're hitting your accuracy. Yeah, so you run out of low accuracy, but if you train it, what does it do? I mean, I'm guessing if, you, if it's not 100% accurate, there's the occasional chance it's going to spit one or the other. Oh, hang on. I think this is going to work, and I'll tell you why. The output stream saying it can accept circles or triangles, but there's there's nothing in the definition that that says that it's going to expect an even split between them, right? So you could just send all the triangles to output stream three. There'll be none on output stream one. I mean that could be an inefficiency in the you know end design, but who cares? All right, I think I was overthinking it. That's the problem. Overthinking it. Reinforcement learning. As I say. Like... Nodes work in a bit of a different way. All data is initially unspecified, and your task is to recognize it and transmit it to the re reinforced learning agent. Right, so we're going to get some random data. Is this it? Are we just hooking it up like that? It's like a classifier, isn't it? There's a tuning. Okay, interesting. AI at space on there. Your data about surroundings on the road are processed from your scheme to match the learning model. Your car won't be capable of learning and detecting obstacles without it. This is cool. Do you end up with something you can drive? Press supervise then and drive the track yourself using WSDs. Oh, okay, this is fun. Right, so what do we do? Okay, I'm confused. Launch training so the machine learning will try to reiterate your actions. So you can see there's something on the right where it's showing you what's coming into the computer and you see the pedals and the steering and stuff. Press training and watch your car's AI attempting to reproduce your actions. Right, I think I get it. Do I have to hit evolve or do I have to do anything? This is chaining the uh, GA, apparently. Okay. <laughs> I think I need to do the supervised learning again. So there's a car there. How did I do? Okay. Stop it there. Let's see what that does then. That training. <laughs> no. Okay, so you see these, these bubbles of data coming in on the CPU side? Well, I think it crashed, didn't it? Okay, let's just see what it's doing. Jammed on the brakes hard then, that. <laughs> I think it's working. It's not great, but it's working. That's pretty cool. Uh, 
Well, I got gold for that. That's good enough. That's pretty cool. Okay, how about we do one more? What's, what can we do here? Self-driving car. Is that the one we just did? No, I don't think it is. One does not simply walk into Silicon Valley. Complete the tutorial. Start up Mama Smith's Pizza Shack to get that. Okay. Where the... Where are all these things? <laughs> I'm sort of losing. Losing my mind. Oh, is it because we haven't done something here? We haven't done Med X. Oh, I see. We've just been jumping ahead. Right. We didn't read what was going on. Fine. And we can see we need to do some sort of decision tree thing, which is fine. Let's go there. Red goes up there. Oh, this is... Oh. Ooh. Mmm. Hang on. Maybe we need the expert system because the expert system was acting as a, a bit of a better filter, wasn't it? Now, once we get to that part, we should be able to use a decision tree because we're just going to split into the... Um, I still think we almost need another expert system. Bum. Just, how do we get rid of nodes? I think it's, it feels to me a bit like freeways at the moment because I'm just erasing everything, but there probably is a way to slip. No, probably hitting delete. All right, I think I think it's more likely to be something like this. So if it's red, go there. I'm studying because it isn't that simple, is it? Let's see, look, we've got red. This can be red or green. So any of them can have green, right? Which is kind of cool. But the most specific one is this one, which needs a blue. So what if... All right, let's see if we can figure out... Oh, it's just select it and hit delete. Let's just get the blue case out of the way, right? So that's the blue. Now, the decision tree... We can probably plumb it into another expert system and then say if you see red go there and then else what would be left green you could I think that will work but it's not it's not really what we're trying to achieve how often you're gonna get the blues the blues are done you ran out of time. Nose used two out of 40. So it's letting you have a, a fairly complicated solution. Let's try again. Start again. Maybe we can just do it based on decision trees. So they're going to split. If you split two colors, like what happens? So for example, if you go in here and you have the red and the blue, right? What actually happens when a green comes along? I think the green gets spit out of a random hole. If I'm not mistaken. So if, if if we hook that to there, hook that to there, would be great. But we need to to get more outputs on this. So we could have something like that going on there. And you do have, let's see the options. Oh, you do have an any option. So if you've already filtered the red here and then you might get a green, then you could say that could be any to any really that should work fine so you get any to any and then we can use another one here um, so they need to get we need red so they get the red coming up to here we'll get the blue coming down to here so we know that this one is almost always gonna be a blue so we can go here, and we can go here, and we just want to select this one to be blue. And I'm guessing this one could be really any. Hmm. All right, let's try that. Oh. <laughs> not quite confuse myself on this one so let's have a look you've got the red coming through here 
I'm a red. I get filtered up to here and then it says any. And this will either send me there or there, which in most cases should be okay. So I'm a blue coming through here and I'm gonna get filtered to here and then I'm going to get pushed to here. So that's pretty good. I mean, the, the alternative way, we know that a blue or a green could be here. You could just say any could come to here. And green, you'd have felt out the greens to come to here. But if you're filtering those, hang on, if we, if we take that, by that logic, you see, if we take that, we're going to filter greens. What happens to explicitly to blues? Um, oh, sorry, red. So we got the reds coming in here. I need to make sure the reds are being split too. So the reds will come up here. Now, if we come up here and it says any, it would be green or red, will it equally split them? I'm just watching here. Yeah, it does. Look, reds come to both. Oh, that was it. That was it. Okay. Hmm. Fair enough. Don't query it. Right. I think we need to just do this last one, the pizza shack. Just one last wafer thin game. Oh, there is one we did already. Oh. If we're going to do one more, then we have to do one more we haven't done. How do you know if you've done it, though? You see, these ones have little ticks by them. Optimization. All right. The old databasey code, then. What's wrong now, then? You want... Am I losing my mind on this one? Everything that's red and nothing that's not. You ran out of time. Ooh. That's because I use the expert system, isn't it? Because you need to use the decision tree because it's faster. And look, because you can have that um, red goes to red. Now, if you set that to any, now this is the danger. If you set this to any, will you get reds that go down this path at all? You do, you get the occasional one. Not good. Right, so what you need to do, I think we could just use another one. Summit that, this leak. Right. That should be good now. Oh, it's addicting. I, I really, I think, I think just one more. One more. Just to round it off. Um, I, don't know, I don't know what type of video this was. Was it a games unboxing or games review? But yes, it's good. Play it. It's good. Okay, so now we have different shapes and colors. Hmm. Do we care about the shapes though? We do, because you don't want triangles here, so it has to be... Do we do shapes first or colours first? Let's have a look what Sift can do. So Sift really... We want circles to go here. And then... And then... We want triangles to go here. And then... <laughs> oh, we don't want triangles to go there. We want... S oh, hang on. All right, I'm just going to hook this up just to see the flow, right? So I think that's kind of okay. You should get triangles going down there, circles going down there. And it's the squares element, right? We want the squares to potentially go either place. I think we might be better off just sorting on colour to start with. Yes, sort on colour to start with. Hmm. 
blue. Blue goes to there. And then red goes again. I can't remember when we use that any. <laughs> I don't think the any does filter how we want it, do we? So we have to just say any will go to here. Then red will go to there. Green will go to here. And green will go to here. So that's working as it should be a good color filter. So we'll just worry about color right now. I'm seeing good on the color, but not great on the accuracy. So we need to start filtering out by the shape. So let's see if this sift is doing what we want. So it's getting rid of the blue triangles. That's good. Blue circle. Nice. That's nice. Okay. So we have this wire here. I'm going to hook this root, this wire to this filter. So now we should see when we do a test run, the top right output stream one, hopefully we only see the correct things. I think, I think we are. Look at this though, what's happening? We're overloading it. That's very interesting. You saw that, how it was being very jerky and not, not accepting everything quick enough. That's quite an interesting thing. Hmm, that's something we're gonna have to solve as well. So that was adding a sift there. And then we have these this decision tree here. So I'm just going to go, I think, and add more of these sifts to filter out stuff. So this one, we definitely want anything that's a circle to go in there. So that will filter out any green circles. And that's going through there. So the last one is this, really. So again, we need another sift here, and we're going to sift out circles. And cut this wire, plug it to here. Hmm, let's try a test run, shall we? Ooh. So far, good accuracy. But we are getting a lot of slowdown here. I might need to rejig that. No, but, oh, so close. So what I'm wondering is, can we pre-filter the data a bit more? So we know we want to get rid of triangles. So if it's a triangle, send it to the trash. Else, Send it there, and let's cut this line to here to here. So now we have a two sifts, so they're running in parallel. We've got some parallel siftation happening. Oh, I felt I saw the accuracy drop on output stream three as well. How did that happen? How did all of a sudden we ended up with a blue How did that happen? Because we had a blue maybe come through here. So we really need this. This shouldn't be an any on the top. It has to be red. I still think there's that opportunity though for a blue to sneak through. I can see them. I can see the blues. Cheeky blues. Again, accuracy is killing us. So, this is the route here from here to here. I think we need to get rid of the blues. So, I'm going to cut that wire. And I'm going to say, from go from here to here. If it's blue, take a particular path, else, everything else can go to here. And then this is going to go into the trash can. Now, like most of these types of games, I'm sure there's more optimal solutions than most. And this one is definitely not an optimal <laughs> solution. But you can just go around and over and over, can't you? And I still saw a blue sneak in there. How is it even getting there? 
It's because of this any filter is is not great. Right, I've added another buffer, another decision tree. It's really messed now. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, so close. Giving up on that previous approach. I think we need to be a bit neater and uh, we need to do more sifting. It's very easy to lose your way in this game. So you have to be a bit cautious as you go through. So we're gonna target red squares. I think that's good. But before we do, we did have an else issue last time where you'd occasionally get the wrong thing mm. I think I think this is okay but we might have to deal with the else case which is going to be the triangles because you might have a circle at that point so we need a circle filter in here um, this might mess up my neatness here so I'm going to try to bring this back So much for keeping it neat, right? <laughs> so much for keeping it neat, but that's fine. So we're gonna go for here, and if there's a circle, we're gonna take the circle and um, we're gonna get a red circle at this point. It can go up there. Uh, otherwise, everything else we're gonna bin, which is fine. And then we're gonna need our another sif here. Sift, sorry, not sif. And then we're gonna go into that sif. We want to filter out the triangles, of course, because we want green triangles to come to here. And if it's not a green triangle, we don't care about it. So there, I think that's a relatively neat solution. Try to keep it neat, I think. That's probably the way to do it, because once you get lost, it gets hard to debug. But for the life of me, when they don't want to work, they don't bloody want to work. That's for sure. Oh. Oh, oh, thank God for that. Right, good. Let's hit release and we're done. So, yeah, all in all, I think for free, this is an amazing game. I don't know how much it is normally, um, but yeah, I think free is the perfect price right now. And it's available today, literally today on Epic Game Store. And literally, I've no affiliation with Epic Game Store at all. But look, it's right there now. And you can see here, normally it's a tenner, which is probably an okay price, but it's free. Literally, go get it now. Thank you to Gary Pinkett for letting me know about this and uh, making my Saturday morning a little bit more fun. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great uh, day playing while true learn.